Okay, what is up guys? My name is Micah and this is going to be the fifth tutorial in the series. We are going to be covering centering the camera on the hero node in this video. So um, when you click on the iOS simulator, you will see that the camera actually moves with the hero rather than the hero moving across the screen. So um, one thing we need to do before we get started here is we're going to make our lives a little bit easier. Um, just ignore that that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about in a future tutorial. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to set a couple global variables and one of these variables is going to just be the ML hero that we created. Um, we're doing this so we don't actually have to use this child with name method every single time we want to access the hero method in different functions. And I just do this to minimize the amount of code I actually have to type out and it just makes the code look cleaner and it's easier to work with. So we type out this first part right here, and then we actually initialize it right here. So we have hero equals ML hero hero, and we can take out this line of code that we put in before. This is the child, child node with name method that we called to access that hero. And now we should be good to go. Anytime we type in the word hero now within the Mycene class, we are going to access that original hero that we created. So one more node that we're going to create is going to be the world node. And this is going to be significant for centering the camera on the hero. So a better way to think about the hero moving around the world is that the hero wasn't necessarily moving, but the world is moving around the hero. And that's kind of the basic, um, that's kind of how you center that camera on the hero. So um, now that we have that, we're going to actually initialize the world. So we're going to do world equals SK node world. And we're going to, I mean, SK node node, sorry, that's the factory method for SK node. And then we add the world self add child to the scene. So before when we created the ground and the hero, we actually added them as nodes to the scene. What we want to add, um, what we want to add now is the uh, the ground and the hero to the world instead of the scene. So we can change these two self keywords to world. And so now the ground and the hero are child nodes of the world node, which is a child node of the scene. So um, we are going to go into a new method that's called the did simulate physics method. And this method is called every single frame after all of the nodes in the scene have simulated their physics and have simulated all their movements. So um, it will detect every it will detect every single time that the block moves to the right. So we're going to call a method that we're going to create. It's going to be the center on node method, and we're going to pass in the hero as an argument. So um, it's going to center the hero. It's going to center the world on this node every single frame when the did simulate physics method is called. So here we can actually write our method. So center on node, sk node, node. And at this point it might get a little confusing. Um, I'm not sure if my brain just wasn't working correctly when I was learning this concept, but if it is a little confusing, don't worry about it. Um, you'll probably absorb it over time. I know it just took me a couple days and then I actually understood what was going on. So you have the CG points. It's going to be the position in scene of the node that you pass in. So it's going to be the position in the scene of the hero. And remember, we put the, um, the hero in the world node. So right now, the hero's coordinate system is within the world rather than in the scene. So we need to convert that those coordinates from the world coordinates to the scene coordinates. And to do that we use a method called um, do a method called convert point. So we want to convert the node.position, so the hero.position essentially, because we're passing in the hero to the center on node method from that node's parent. So it's going to be from the world node, but we're just going to use node.parent so if by the off chance you um, end up changing the parent of this node, it's going to actually, it's still going to work. So this is going to return a point 
that is in the coordinate system of the scene rather than the coordinate system of the world for our hero node. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the position of the world. As I was saying before, you want to move the world around the hero rather than the hero moving around the world. And so the world world.position is going to be cg point make world.position.x world.position.y. So right now um right now as that stands that we're basically just setting the world's position equal to the world's position. So what we actually what we need to do is we need to account for the difference um we need to account for the difference that has occurred after the physics have been simulated. So the um this right here the since the hero node has moved over within the scene um, we're going to take the difference of that and we're going to get the amount that the world has to move around the hero. So world.position.x, you want to subtract the position in scene.x and subtract the position in scene.y for that y coordinate. So if we run this, if you're confused, don't worry about it. Um, if you just kind of look at it for a while and kind of think through it all, you should be able to understand kind of what's going on here. So you can see that the ground lifted up a little bit just because um, the scene is centering on the hero and the hero is always going to be in the exact center of the screen. Um, to change where the hero is, you change the anchor point of the scene. And you can see when we click on the iOS simulator, the, it, the hero node stays centered and the camera follows it. And you'll see that actually the hero is gonna fall off the side of this block and the camera is still gonna stay centered and um, yeah, we're going to be good to go on actually creating our world and uh, moving the hero along within it. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.